My toxic trait is anything that I see, I really believe that I can do anything myself. I see so many like things on Pinterest that are clearly made by professionals and I'll look at it and be like, I can do that myself. Not to toot my own horn, but I would say like 80% of the time I'm usually right. And I thoroughly enjoy that process and learning about new things, especially when it comes to crafting and sewing and all that stuff. This isn't the beautiful PR package it came in, but I was recently sent Falscara. This isn't sponsored. This is literally just me like doing this and I've used it a couple days. It's become a pretty like good tool. I just haven't really nailed it yet. The difference between Falscara and like false lashes is that Falscara, if you you do it properly it can last up to 10 days i haven't been able to make it last more than three days but i feel like there's still like a learning curve with every single product and it's definitely sped up my routine in the morning i used to get lash extensions i was getting them for the greater part of last year but it does add up and it gets really expensive and since dylan and i have a wedding to pay for i just honestly had got into the habit of like not getting them done and i also felt like my lashes really needed a break after like a whole year of constantly getting them and i'm like one of those people that like will just pick at my face and if there's like one straggly lash I will pick at it so I feel like the removable option may be a little bit better for me and the other thing I like to do is if I'm going on vacation or something I will tint my brows that's like another thing I do at home by myself and I've permed my brows before and I've permed my lashes before and I've been successful in both but it's not something I necessarily love to do and something I would definitely outsource but the lashes Let's get going. Okay, so you're supposed to do this on obviously very clean lashes. I washed my lashes. And the thing about this residue, it is like kind of tricky to get off like with just regular makeup remover and it's water resistant. So you have to make sure you have the Falscara remover. I appreciate sure you can get this online on Amazon or at Walmart, like where other Kiss products are sold. They even gave me a cute little mirror. So today is Monday. So I am just working all of these really fun things that I have planned for February. And I had this concept for a video idea, which I think I'm just going to embed in this video of me DIYing and like changing up some stuff on my wish list, like my luxury wish list. And I think that they would just be really good. So I'm taking the bond because this stuff is so sticky. It's better just to keep it at the base. I don't put it at the other top of the lashes because I find that it just gets a little messy. I think curling them is key if you have very straight lashes because when they're really straight, it's hard to put the lash on because it's curled. I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but I'm going to work in sections. And then it came with this really great pair of like lash application tweezers and all these lashes. So I'm just going to decide which ones I'm doing. I think I think I'll do these wispy dudes. So you just place them at the base of your root like that. Whoa. And I've seen some people, they even take a little bit of the bond and they just pop it here. And I found because I have like interesting shaped eyes, it's easier to cut the little pieces a little smaller so I have more control. Otherwise they don't fit on my lid as like naturally. So I got one on. Let's do the rest and then I'll get back to y'all. Okay, so I did my hair, my makeup. Like I never used to get ready every single day, but I've really gotten into the habit of it because I film for TikTok every day and I just feel more confident when I'm filming and I look presentable. So yeah, these are the lashes they look really really good i'm really happy with them yes yeah, so this is like i think my third or fourth time applying them and putting them on but yeah i've slept in them overnight but if you are in the habit of touching your eyes a lot it may not be the best thing um you have to really make an active effort to not but yeah they look really good also my hair i just ran a wide curling iron through it and it's been really behaving lately i haven't bleached my hair in over a year now so there's a lot of grow out but every time i go sometimes she does the face framing layers and then she just tones the rest so there are a few highlights maybe sprinkled through that are like newer but for the most part everything underneath here is like all just grow out which is great because i'm trying to grow out for my wedding i don't know if i'm going to be blonde like how i normally am or i'm just going to stay with the dark hair but i really like the way it's feeling lately i've been definitely taking good care of it so i'm going to clean up the rest of my stuff we are going to film my tiktok and get on with the day all right say hello to my little friend. I've actually been trying to film this video forever, so we're just gonna start with the first one because I only have like an hour to do this and then I have to get ready to go to an event. So I'll show you guys what I'm wearing to that. But as you guys can see, this is a very simple one because I thrifted this um, and it looks so much like the with jean dress that I really wanted. And I almost bought 
in a Black Friday sale, I'm pretty sure, like last year. So I found this. I really want to wear it at my bachelorette because it really kind of has that vibe that we're all going for for some of our outfits. So the only thing is it needs to, it's pretty long. Um, I'm, I have it to my height here. So I know that I want it to be mini. So I'm just going to work on that today. So I need to cut about that much off. So as you guys can see, this actually saves me so much time because I obviously want to try this on at some point, but this makes this a lot easier. So let me turn on my iron. I'm going to press this all down and then we're just going to sew it like I normally do. All right, so I'm going to do my hair. Kat looks like Hermione in the first Harry Potter because I had it waved, but I need to brush it through because I'm going to be doing my hot rollers and then I'm going to finish it off with just like the regular curling iron. But I have this set of hot rollers. I definitely have talked about this before. These are them. They are the T3 ones. They're really, really good. So I'm going to do my hair in that, do my makeup, and then I'm still deciding between a few outfits. So I'll show you guys when I show you. Every day I check for new growth on our fiddle leaf fig. It's pretty tall now, like it's almost at the ceiling and I think I have a photo of it from before. I have a picture with this tree and we're, it's definitely not taller than me. I think it's like here, but this is our third fiddle leaf fig and this is the only one that's ever grown new leaves. I think the other ones, I was really fussy with it. I think I was just overly excited and then I would just like move it around a lot and fuss around with it. I like repotted it even though fiddle leaf figs prefer to be more on the root bound side and it actually sprouted leaf. No one cares about this, do they? <laughs> okay, well, this is called being 29, everyone. But the minute it sprouted new leaves this winter, I actually snipped off the top and then made a little notch on the side here. I really hope it's gonna like grow a branch here and some branches there, and it's gonna be one of those majestic trees that you see on Pinterest. I'm gonna get ready. I have to film something really fun today for Lululemon, doing some TikToks with them. And I have a really cute outfit I'm like putting together for that. So I'm gonna do that. Today is not the most ideal day to wear this outfit, but I already planned it. So we're gonna commit and yeah. So I moved my setup, I'll show you guys a little bit later, over here to do my hair and makeup by the window because I thrifted this really great table. So I've been doing it here. I'm slicking back, whoa. I'm slicking back my hair right now into a high pony because I feel like even though I kind of look like an egg for day four-ish hair, right before I'm about to wash it, this is like the go-to hairstyle just because it looks so put together. I use this gel that I actually tried for the first time in the summer from a friend and it has like I think like olive oil extract and it's like water-based but the great thing about it is that it doesn't like feel hard or sticky. Like I could put so much in my hair and it just helps it like stay together for like the styling portion so easy i'm gonna put on some earrings because i feel like i look a little bald makeup's done i'm gonna film now and i'll show you guys what i got at lululemon because the stuff is so freaking cute let's do this so i just finished filming but i want to show you guys these two pieces from lululemon i wanted to create an outfit that i can wear both like at pilates but then also go for lunch in and just feel really cute and stylish you know because i feel like their pieces can really do both this isn't sponsored by the way i just have been wearing lulu since i was like 11 years old when I tried to like take my mom's pants and they didn't even fit me I just I love their brand but um this is the shelf bra like top which I really like because if you guys have been watching me for a while you'll know that I hate wearing bras so if I can wear something and forego the undergarment situation I always will this is in the color bone I'm gonna link it for you guys and then the skirt it's like this little mini skirt which is like very very short however it has the built-in shorts underneath and you know like I've had stuff from Lululemon that has lasted me like 10 years plus so I know this stuff is gonna last me so long but I have it here with these thrifted boots because I was trying to like create an actual outfit like look at this oversized quilted coat it's so good I believe it's like filled with something that keeps you warm but it's a good spring coat you guys know I love olive green if I'm not in a neutral color I'm most likely an olive green and then I also got this bag and this keychain to pair with the look because I felt like the bag was kind of almost giving like Prada vibes I feel like Prada has a very similar bag to this and it's nylon. It's under 100 bucks, but it's built so well. It has the two slots. It's like a classic 
like camera bag style. And I feel like it's just, it doesn't scream like sporty. You know what I mean? Like you could wear this with pretty much any outfit. And then I attach this little, I'm gonna call it a bag charm. It's not, it's like this keychain. I've been wanting one of these for so long. This is like one of those things that you don't even know you need. So just having like all my keys on this one big thing, like knowing that this is where all my keys are, I think that's just so great. And that's the one thing I love about Lululemon. They use really, really incredible materials, but I'm gonna link everything. Because I'm Canadian, I'm from Toronto, like Lululemon's just been part of my life since I was a wee child, but sorry, I, I like need to continue this thought, but I feel like all of these brands like Lululemon, Aritzia, they're all Canadian. I've grown up with these brands my whole life. So it's interesting to see them like go over to the States and like start expanding and like other American creators are starting to talk about them and like bringing Aritzia into their halls and like how viral some of their pieces have gotten because like I just obviously have so much brand loyalty to these Canadian brands because that's what I've been wearing for like a very long time. I was so excited. This was such a like a dream partnership. So I just finished that up. I'm going to edit it, send it over for brand approval so I can post it as soon as possible. But I'm going to change out of this right now because I'm just staying home. So continuing this dress today, I started on the invisible hem. Actually, no, I finished the invisible hem. But the only thing is I have to iron this because the one thing about sewing is when you're tired, your stuff starts looking really bad. You, you cannot, you really can't do things when you're tired. But this is pretty much done. Maybe I'll try it on later, but there's so many things I want to get done today. So let's just get started with that. Tried it on. Too late to take off the pants right now, but I will show you guys a final reveal. Yeah, all I did was shorten it and it looks so much like the dress I wanted. Super cute. I wish I did a little bit of a better job. I'm sad I was too tired and now my lining is really short, but it's all good. Next item on the to-do list. We got the Jimmy Choo Avaline shoe. Can you tell how unlevel my basement is? Like, I'm not moving this myself. Pretty expensive. And I honestly, I've seen this on so many other TikToks. So I don't really know who to give credit for this, but they use horsehair trim to do the bows on those shoes. So I kind of wanted to do this on my own shoes. The only thing is, is like this white is a little bit yellow compared to the bow, but I don't really want to buy new shoes for this. I'm going to create a snap so that way you can add them to whatever shoe that you'd like. But one thing they did was they zigzagged the edges and I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. I'm just gonna to try to get it as similar to the Avalanche shoe as possible. I basically just tied this together so I can actually sew it and not have to hold it. We love to see it, it's so cute. Currently letting the bows dry here and it's turning out so cute, but we're gonna move on to the next thing. This is a really big trend right now. You guys can see it all over like the rosettes. It's a really easy and expensive way to add more, I guess, current trends to your wardrobe without being super wasteful and going on like a fast fashion website and buying a whole rosette situation. But I'm gonna show you guys how I do rosettes, which is scraps. You can do it with ribbon or um, fabric. It's like a really pretty velvet ribbon. I think this could work, but we'll see. You can obviously do this by hand too. I just have my machine now anyway for the other stuff. But what you're gonna do is see these two strings. You are going to be pulling, I think it's the front one, really, really gently. And as you can see, there's gonna be a kind of a gather that's starting. You're gonna to wanna to do a nice gather like that because that's what's gonna create the petals when we glue our rosette down. Okay, so I finished the ruffle and I did a pretty tight ruffle because um, I think it's just gonna look a lot more petally, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go heat up my glue gun and then we are going to start creating the flowers. And as you can see, it's starting to create that really pretty like rosette look. I think this is gonna be such a pretty color. It's gonna be so good. This took maybe five minutes, but I'm just gonna tie off the ends here so that way um, it doesn't come unruffly. I think this is so fun. I could make these all day. I, I love this. I know this video is a little bit all over the place and I've just been so confused about like how to even do YouTube anymore because I've been so in that short form situation and if you guys have watched any of my youtube shorts you know i've been pretty consistent like uploading those but long form like i've started on youtube so this is really important to me to keep up this channel i figure i would end this video which is kind of a sit down talking and showing you guys and, like trends i'm really into and all that fun stuff because spring is right around the corner it doesn't look like it outside but it is so this is the five thousand dollar wish list i had and i actually spent $50 doing all of these things, including the DIYs you saw, including the thrifting, all that stuff. So that is like 
crazy. I think that's like what, 1%, don't quote me on that. Is that 1%? That's like 1% of the cost. So I'm just gonna go through everything one by one. Update on the rosette. I actually am wearing the tie that the rosette was on, but this turned out so cute. And I attached two safety pins to the back just because this flower is so big. And I was really just using like what I had at home to create this. Leftover ribbon, safety pins, this little like tie thing. So I just didn't wanna spend money on it. Cause to me, this was free, but I did go on YSL to do the price comparison even though obviously you can find them for much cheaper, but YSL sells these for $1,200 which is so crazy for like a little pin. I mean, I guess they're probably made of real silk and like much better made than mine, but you can make these yourself with things that you have at home. I've also attached like a little beaded necklace to this one, but that one's smaller and a little bit more subtle. This is all with leftover ribbon, by the way, like this was Christmas ribbon and I attached it to this ribbon tie and I wore this at Chinese New Year and I thought that was adorable. So now I have these three awesome roses and they didn't cost me anything. I just reused things I already had. A lot of people are asking me if I was going to be selling these I don't really know because I just don't have the time to be honest but now you know how to make them if I sell them one day I don't know we'll see I want to show you guys a few ways I styled them in addition to this little jacket I want to show you guys the rosette first I had this like long faux leather thread and so you can obviously tie it like this and I think just with an all black outfit, it looks so good. I also thought about this idea since I put it on a safety pin. Another go-to way you can do it is you could just pin it here or I could pin it on kind of like a halter. And then cause I have these strings, I can tie this around and make it look like it's integrated into the top. And I feel like this is very much like a mirror palais vibe. I think that looks so cute and it's a way to like give new life to pieces you already have in your wardrobe I'm gonna show you it with a dress a little bit later but this is the dupe I got for the Daniel Guizio shrug it's really similar in the way that I was looking for something that just had like a furry collar and was really simple to wear with outfits like this because sometimes I just don't want to wear a really large jacket or I don't have a long sleeve top to go with an outfit and the good thing about this is like if you put it with a safety pin you can either pin it on items and that could look so cute like that or even as a belt like that looks really good I love accessories but I don't have a ton of them so I'm just trying to find ones that really work for me and for my wardrobe that's definitely something that just makes your outfit look so much more on trend Oh, I'm obsessed with this coat. I know Amazon has those like faux fur collars that you can add on to like Eddie coat. But the good thing about those is you could just like pop those onto any little blazer, which you guys know I love things that have dual functionality and you can get a similar look to this. But you guys know I'm like, I love like a monochromatic look like this, but I want to also pair it with this dress. If you've been following my YouTube shorts or my TikToks, you have seen this dress before because I styled it on there and it's just this like sheer number. It probably came with a slip at the time, but it was only being sold like this. The way it fits and everything really gives that like mirror play style like they do a lot of sheer their dresses are like 600 bucks and this one I got for 12 but um, if you look in the lingerie section at the thrift or you go to just like the evening gown section sometimes they have things like this but I wanted to like show you guys again with the flower because I could pop it on here like this and it gives it like a, just a different look or I can tie it it kind of has that same YSL look for but I think the way I would honestly attach a flower to this dress and I would probably prefer a black flower with this dress. Probably would just put one on the corner here, not corner, shoulder. I would have just like a little kind of almost like a brochy thing and let these things hang. It's cute. Okay, let's take it off because I want to show you the other one. Same coat, but see how like something like this, it just looks more fitted than an oversized blazer. This feels very fancy to me, so I probably would mix it up and do a leather jacket, but I do like this too. I can't believe I found this coat. Like it's something I've been looking for for a really long time. Okay, moving on. I've been looking for a lot of bridal party dresses, especially for my sister who is my maid of honor. We've been loving Retrofet, but it is so expensive. They do these beautiful beaded dresses. They do like a lot of crochet. And there was this dress on there that was like 600 bucks and really was like the mood for my bachelorette. Like I think it would be so cute to have something like that. But lo and behold, I found this at the thrift store. This one was, is $11.99 and I'm like actually obsessed. It's so cute. So I'm debating whether just to take this whole lining out. The lining actually goes all the way down, but I like something about like showing a little bit of leg and even just having it just like be no lining. I don't know. Like I think is I still want to wear it as a dress, not just as a bikini cover up. So I'm gonna have to like think about that. Everything here is actually secondhand, which is really cool because I don't feel like it necessarily looks it. I feel like everything looks very like 
luxury and cute. So, I mean, the shoes are actually luxury because these shoes are Tom Ford Gucci. Um, I got them for $24. I found them at the thrift store and that video is kind of controversial, but it's one of my most viewed YouTube shorts on here, which is crazy. But I think just with like a low sandal, especially if the dress was completely sheer um, and you're wearing a bikini under, like I don't, I think it'd be a little too like Love Island for me if I wore something really high. It's just not really my style. And then I love to do like a contrasting color when it comes to a bag. So I just did this orange one. It's Ferragamo. I got it on a girl's trip when we were in Palm Beach at a consignment store. But we're going to a hot destination for my bachelorette and also for my honeymoon after we're married. So I'm already thinking about like wardrobe ideas for that. And I feel like this is just such a good one. And again, it definitely gives that retro fat vibe. This is the beaded bag that I have. What I did was I just shortened the strap because there was this bag from Stodd. That I really loved was $295. It's the Tommy bag. It's all beaded and I really appreciate the workmanship. Like this thing was made in France, but I got it for $6 and the lining is definitely silk. It's so beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is like legitimately vintage, but this color, it's just so pretty. Again, if you're into that like whole beaded bag trend thing that I love, try the thrift store because I've seen so many things like this, but this is by far my favorite one I've ever found. I paired it up again with this little shrug thing. I wanna show you guys how I'd wear it more casually. Again, all the pieces here besides the shrug and the purse are like major closet staples. Like even, I would argue, ballet flats. Um, you guys know I thrifted these Chanel ballet flats last year. Everything else here I've already owned is just a simple white tank. And the accessories are what really play it up and a statement jacket. This is such a fun look for when it gets a little warmer. Like this little coat just makes every outfit cute. This is my with jean dupe. <laughs> um, this is so cute. So you guys know I thrifted this for 14 bucks. The with jean one is like $295. I think it's around 300. And I got this for $14, did the, all the alterations myself. So this is dope. I love this. I love how this looks on. Again, this could be so good for hopefully my bachelorette. If not, I'm gonna find another occasion to wear this. I have to, but what I did for the bottom is I did an invisible hem. I shortened it. I know a few of you guys will say like, oh my God, that makes it look so cheap, but I wanted it to be as close to the with jean one as possible. And I feel like I definitely accomplished that. And I'm obsessed with this purple color. I'm like really into satin lately. And I think this is also really cute for summer if you're going on vacation. Yeah, I paired it with a green bag. Cause like I said, love a contrasting bag to the main like color of the dress. And then I also have some like flip floppy sandals. Uh, you guys know I'm not like a huge heels girl. So I do like a lower ish heel for the most part if I'm going out, but this is like a good like girls trip dress too. Like another good bachelorette dress. Since I'm technically the bride, I do want to wear a lot of white, but this is still so cute. Like I really, really like this. Lastly, I do want to talk about the shoes. So originally you guys can see in the YouTube video, I put them on these Zara heels, but as you can see, the Zara heel is very like kitten-like, but the bows look so good on this shoe, which is a Dolce Vita shoe. I mean, they have a few like affordable wedding shoes on there. And I didn't think to put them on these just because they have the pearl detailing at the top. So I just didn't think that this would like kind of go with it, but they actually turned out so cute. The only thing is I do have to make a longer little snap strap for this, but I do love that they detach and I can pop them on any shoe. That that turned out so cute and this cost me 10 bucks those shoes are like $1,200 so score they're so good okay but I am obsessed with these shoes I was trying to make something a little bit like bridalish with this outfit so I just paired it with this really simple kind of shifty dress I have like the little bow it's honestly precious they're so good okay well, that finally wraps up this freaking long video, guys. This took so long to make just because I had so many good ideas. I've been finding really good stuff. But yeah, 50 bucks for all that stuff versus 5,000. Really, really not bad. I hope that with this channel, like my goal is always to make fashion accessible and like you don't have to spend a bajillion dollars. And so that way you can save your money and really invest in like good quality items like the Lulu stuff I showed earlier or like some of the designer bags I have, you know, stuff like that. So when it comes to trends, like, like we only have so much space and so much money that I feel like it just makes sense to try to figure out how to get this stuff on a budget and get the most bang out of your buck. That's always what it's about. So I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this one and if you like these type of style videos where I vlog a little bit I'm gonna try to keep making more stuff for you guys I'll talk to you guys soon bye guys